this section would be about greedy algorithms, which are useful for certain types of optimization problems. In this video, we will learn how greedy algorithms work by going through an example problem. Firstly, we will introduce the subject and specify for which problems these types of algorithms are useful. Next, we will present an example problem where the greedy algorithm comes in handy. We will then describe the original algorithm and we will finish off by describing a, a recursive alternative. Greedy algorithms are useful for optimization problems, problems such as scheduling or resource allocation. The mechanism behind greedy algorithms is to have an algorithm to go through a number of simple repetitive steps. And each time you make the choice that looks best at the time. For some problems, making the best local choice at each step will lead to a global optimal solution. To understand this better, let's look at a specific example. Meet Bob, the farmer. Bob has a field where he keeps all his cows. Unfortunately, he has a problem. His cows keep on escaping, and he's spending a lot of time rounding them up. So one day, Bob decides to put up a wire fence around his field. So he measures each side of the field and calculates the perimeter. He then goes to the hardware store to buy some fence, where he discovers that the wire fence comes in reels of different lengths. The biggest reel is 10 meters, then there is one with 5 meters, next one is 2, and finally there is the smallest one of 1 meter. The longest the wire fence reel, the more he saves, and the less work he has to do to join the different pieces together. He wants to know exactly what to buy, so he minimizes costs and work. The solution to Bob's problem is very intuitive. We can break it down in small steps, each time choosing the longest reel that fits in the remaining perimeter. Let's say Bob has a field of 60 meters. We choose the biggest fence that fits in our length, in this case the 10 meter reel, and we subtract it from the field's perimeter. The next biggest reel to fit is the 5 meter one, leaving us with 1 meter. In the end, we simply choose the final 1 meter with the smallest reel. Easy, right? Let's have a look at the algorithm to solve this for the general case, where we can have any field of any length. Firstly, we need a reference list with the real length. Here we create a list with lengths 10, 5, 2, and 1, just like we saw in the example. Then we define a function, which reels, which takes in p, an integer representing the farmer's perimeter. This function will return a list containing the different lengths we need. We start by creating an empty list, which we will populate with the required real length, and at the end of the algorithm, we return it. We create a while loop that keeps on looping as long as p, the perimeter, is greater than zero. That is, as long as there is still part of the perimeter to cover with a fence. Inside we have a variable representing the length list index, starting as zero. We represent this by the variable i. This simply represents which real we are going to choose from our list. To do this, we have a while loop which will keep on looping, will keep on incrementing i until we reach a length that is equal or smaller to the remaining perimeter. So, for example, if our remaining perimeter is of length 4 meters, we enter the loop with i equals 0. Since 10 is bigger than 4, we move on to the next. 5 is, of course, bigger than 4, and we move on to the next. 2 is the first smaller number than 4 in the list, so we choose length 2. We add the chosen length to our real list, and we subtract the length from the perimeter. When we have enough to cover the entire perimeter, we exit the loop and return our list. We can have a different algorithm if we make use of recursion. Recursive algorithm need a stopping condition. In our case, when the perimeter to cover is 0, we simply return an empty list. Otherwise, we do the same search we did in the previous algorithm, that is, to search for the first item in the list that is smaller than the perimeter. When we have found the correct length, we make use 
of a recursive call subtracting the chosen length from the perimeter. Finally, we add the length to the list returned from the recursive call and return the final list ourselves. Simple, easy and effective, right? Don't you agree? In this video, we have seen an introduction to greedy algorithms. We have seen an example problem and its solution. We have walked through both iterative and recursive algorithms.